Hey there, humans. Today on Exploring Limitations, I'm going to show you how I affected Emily Hopkins' harp using the Tascam Porta Studio and a weird effects chain. Here we go. <laughs> If you guys aren't hip to Emily Hopkins, you should be. She's this brilliant harp player who's got an amazing channel over on the YouTube, like you're here right now. She puts the harp through all kinds of effects pedals. Things that you never would have imagined that sound really, really amazing. And she's turning out to be one of YouTube's best pedal reviews. I think people love it because A, she's extremely talented, and B, it's not the usual guitar approach to uh, pedal reviews. Just a couple days ago, she put out to the world, hey, here's a 90 second harp recording, do with it what you want. Editing Chris here. She just did the live stream of all the submissions just last week. Go to her channel to check it out. Links are below. So of course, I brought it into the Tascam Porta Studio. We had some fun with it. So without further ado, let me just dive in and tell you what's going on here. I recorded Emily's harp here on track one. Let's just hear what that sounds like. It's a pretty good sound. As you can hear, the cassette is adding hiss, and it's it's giving just a little bit of saturation. A little bit? A little hint. Beautiful playing, beautiful playing, beautiful tone. However she and her uh, studio partner recorded that. Great job. Sounds really good. So I brought it into the cassette and brought it to track one. Now here's the funny plan. I knew right away, I'm like, ah, I want to retain most of that beautiful bass in there but I'm gonna make analog copies. So I copied the, tr the track over here. Now let's hear what that sounds like. So now you're hearing track two. That's track one. So you're getting a little bit of degradation loss is what it's called. When you make a copy, it's doing stuff. It's changing the EQ and it's changing the vibe a bit. Then I was like, all right, I've got a second copy of it. Then I pulled the EQs all the way down, so I set it to that, and then I made another copy. What does that sound like? So that's what's on track three. Very vibey, right? Listen back to track one. Track one, the original. Track three. It's starting to really sound more like a degraded cassette. Okay, so now I have three tracks. What am I gonna do? I also, also, also recorded her harp on the micro cassette. Marrying the micro cassette and, and the Tascam is something I will do or did, past tense, in computer land. But I wanted this element as well. There's something so haunting about uh, piano and harp and guitar, like things, instruments, plucky instruments recorded onto micro cassette. There's something so haunting about it. And so that's an element as well. And I knew arrangement wise, when I brought it into the computer, I wanted to start the piece with this. So I have three tracks and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make my own shimmer reverb. So I set up this chain. My effects out is going into the canyon, which I have set to a reverse delay. We will hear in a second. That's going straight into the whammy, which is pitched an octave up. And that's going into the dimension C chorus, which then I'm taking the mono signal, splitting it into a stereo signal. It's a great, great way to stereofy a mono signal and make it still very interesting. The mix. That's my channel three and my channel one. 
That's both of them together. I use, that's kind of the main harp sound. And then this is the effect sound, which now I will show you. Let's turn off the whammy, turn off the dimension C. I have that whole chain, if I didn't mention it, it's coming into channels five and six panned. And I have the EQs cut for that as well. Let's go one by one through these. So let's solo channel two, and I'll show you how we build the sound here. Okay, effect, send, and then. So now you hear nothing, but now you're hearing the reverse delay. Pretty neat. You're just hearing the sound of the pedal. We're gonna use some a, a really cool trick here in a second. So now let's switch on the whammy. Now it's an octave higher. Let me go back to the to this for a second. I mean, that was sick already, right? So this is um, one of my favorite settings, reverse delay. It takes the signal and then plays it backwards for you. I just, I love that sound. Now, and the whammy is giving me the octave up. Now let's turn on Turn on the chorus. Let's turn this off. Yeah, it, it, see, it feels mono. When I turn this on, immediately it spreads out. That's what this is doing. And it's okay. mono. Even though you're getting two signals, this is a great example of why just taking a mono signal and splitting a mono signal, panning it, you're not gonna get a stereo effect. It's You're just copying the mono signal. This actually choruses and it choruses differently. And that's a great example of how you could just spread a mono signal. So nerd alert, the last thing I did with this chain is, okay, we've got it coming back into five and six. Now I can feed it back, the chain into itself. Now, one of the cool things about that, when you have some kind of pitch control, is before you were just hearing an octave up, but think about it. If it's an octave up and it's being sent back and it's going back in. So if that signal gets there again, another octave, and another, and another. Commonly called a shimmer effect, that's basically what it is. So listen to that. And now I can swell things in. And one of my favorite things to do is to get that reverse effect really fast. Now it really accentuates the melody. There you have it. Oh, I'm smiling from ear to ear because I just, that's one of my favorite analog sounds I've, I've come, come to figure out how to do. There's something about the way the whammy pitches. It's so glitchy in a, in a fun way. Let me know if there are any fun analog weird chains like effects pedals that you love taking multiple pedals and turning that into a, a chain. Have a discussion below. There's tons of cool stuff that you could do with simple pedals. I appreciate you. I appreciate you and you and you. I appreciate everyone who's here watching the channel. Uh, do me a favor and go check out the links below. Patreon is there. Bandcamp is there. There's a super thanks button below. If you like what I'm doing, leave a tip in the tip jar, which is that super thanks button. I hope you find value in this and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. 
peace and be good to each other. Yeah.